Let's walk through how to set up a WhatsApp channel for your business messaging. To start sending WhatsApp messages to your customers, we need to complete four essential steps. One, set up your wallet to purchase numbers. Two, install and configure your WhatsApp channel. Three, create your message templates for communication. Four, set up customer lists for your campaigns. Let's begin with setting up your wallet. After setting up your first workspace, you'll need to add funds to your account. This allows you to buy numbers or send messages that have additional charges, such as WhatsApp messages. At the top of your workspace, you'll notice a banner indicating you have no balance. You can click the convenient Add Balance link here to go directly to your wallet. Alternatively, you can find your wallet by going to Settings, then Company Settings, Billing and finally Wallet. Here you'll see your wallet currently has zero balance. To get started, click the Add Funds button. This takes you to adding balance to your wallet. Choose how much you want to add. Let's add 100 euros as an example, then click Proceed to Billing Information. Before making a payment, you'll need to fill in your billing details. Enter your business's legal name at the top. You can also add additional information such as your VAT number, purchase order numbers, or registration numbers if you have them. Next, fill in your complete address details. Enter your street address here, then your city, postal code, and select your country from the drop-down menu. Make sure all these fields are filled in correctly as they'll appear on your invoice. Once you've added these details, proceed to payment. We accept three payment methods. Google Pay, Ideal and Credit Card. Let's demonstrate using a credit card. Enter your credit card information and consider checking Remember Payment Details for Future Purposes. This is useful for two reasons. It makes adding future funds easier and it enables auto top-up functionality to prevent service interruptions. After entering your card details and checking this box, click Pay Securely with Bird. You may need to complete authentication. Just follow the prompts to complete your payment. Once payment is complete, view your wallet to see your updated balance. You can download a receipt for expenses. This will also be emailed to you. Finally, let's set up auto refill. Edit your wallet settings by clicking the button on the top right corner and enable auto refill by checking the box. Set your preferred threshold. For example, when your balance drops below 15 euros, automatically add 100 euros. Then select your saved payment method and you're all set. This ensures you'll always have sufficient funds in your account to maintain uninterrupted service. Click Save to save your wallet change. Now that we have funds in our wallet, we can proceed to purchase our WhatsApp number and set up our channel. Let's walk through this process step by step. First, click the icon in the top left corner and navigate to Manage Channels. Find and click on WhatsApp. Here you'll see any existing WhatsApp channels or you can install a new one by clicking on the top right corner. When installing a new WhatsApp channel, you have three options. First option is to bring your own number. If you already have a mobile number that isn't being used for WhatsApp and can receive either voice or SMS messages for OTP verification, you can use this option. This is particularly useful if you're already using this number for other services and want to maintain consistency. The second option is to use your existing BIRD numbers. If you've already purchased numbers from BIRD and they show as verified, for example, this number here shows a green verified status. That means they're ready to use on WhatsApp with just a few clicks. You can simply select from your existing number inventory in the drop-down menu here and continue with the following steps. The third option is to go and buy a new number. Click on Buy a new number and this will take you to the Buyer Numbers page where you can find a number you want to use. This process is straightforward. You just need to buy a number and start paying for it on a monthly basis. One important thing to note with WhatsApp is that the number itself doesn't easily show up to the end client. Your customers won't typically see the number that you're sending from, instead they'll see your business name. So for example, rather than spending eight euros a month on a number from Thailand, if your business is based in Thailand, you may want to select a cheaper number by going for a United States number. 
These are particularly cheap numbers, so if you're not too worried about having a local number, buying based on cost could make more sense because the end user won't actually see the number unless they really dig into the WhatsApp profile. To purchase a number, go ahead and click Add to Cart, go to your cart, and then Process Payment. This will start charging you for this number on a monthly basis. You'll be charged 50 cents a month. Here we'll skip this activation step for now. Once you have your number, return to the Manager Channels page and go back into WhatsApp. Your new number will initially show Verification in Progress. After verification completes, it will display a verified state, like this number I'm showing you here. Select your verified number and click here to connect it to WhatsApp. When you click Connect to WhatsApp, you'll be guided through Meta's embedded sign-up flow. Since this happens in a separate window, let me explain what you'll need to do during this process. The sign-up flow will ask you to log in with a Facebook account that has administrative access to your Facebook business. You'll then go through a few steps to set up your WhatsApp business account and connect your number. If you're using a bird number, the process is streamlined since these numbers are pre-verified. If you're bringing your own number, you'll need to complete an additional step for OTP verification. Don't worry if the window seems to close. Once you complete all the meta verification steps, you'll automatically return to the bird platform to finish setting up your channel. After completing the embedded sign-up, you'll return to this page where you'll see the installed status. Now you can customise your channel name. Make it something meaningful like WhatsApp marketing or WhatsApp support, depending on your use case. Click Install WhatsApp to finalise the setup. Let me show you a fully configured channel. Looking at a channel I installed earlier called Bird Marketing, you can access various settings by clicking into the Settings page. Here you'll find different configurations available for your WhatsApp channel. For example, if you want to enable commerce messaging, you can link your Facebook catalogue right here. This section lets you customise your commerce features, like enabling shopping cart functionality and choosing whether to display catalogues in your profile. You'll find the catalogue ID field here too. Scrolling down, you can also view important channel information, like the phone number that's linked to this channel and the channel name as it appears on the Meta side. All these settings help you customise your WhatsApp experience to match your business needs. Once you've reviewed and configured these settings, your WhatsApp channel is ready to use in other areas of the platform. With our WhatsApp channel installed and configured, let's create message templates for customer communication. For businesses to initiate conversations with customers on WhatsApp, you need to have an approved template. Whether you're sending a marketing campaign or a transactional notification, Meta requires you to create and submit templates for approval before reaching out to customers who haven't messaged you first. Let's head to the Marketing Hub under Content, go to Message Templates and click Create a new message project in the top right corner. When creating a new message project, you can create templates for multiple platforms, but today we'll focus on WhatsApp. Starting a new WhatsApp project presents two interaction types. You can create interactive templates for replying to open conversations or create WhatsApp templates that need Meta's approval. We'll focus on the first one today, the WhatsApp approved interaction type. After selecting the interaction type, you then need to select which WhatsApp business account you'll associate this template with. I'm using my Bird Academy account, which means this template will be available for both my bird marketing and support channels. Next, choose your template category. Marketing for promotional offers, authentication for OTP codes, or utility for transactional notifications. This choice is crucial as it affects both Meta's approval and your charging rate. For example, if you select utility but create promotional content, Meta would reject it because utility templates are charged at a lower rate than marketing templates. Let's select marketing for this demonstration. You can enable automatic category changes by meter. If your content doesn't match your selected category, Meta can recategorize it. 
If you care about template costs, leave this disabled to maintain control over your category selection. After this setup, choose from various message types. We support text, image and file templates with headers, bodies and action buttons, catalog templates for connected catalogs, coupon templates for promotional codes, carousel templates for horizontal card displays, multi-product templates for catalog items, limited time offer templates for expiring offers, flow templates for WhatsApp forms. Let's create an image template. First, give your project a name. I'll call it Demo Project Image. Select your locale. We'll start with English and you can always add more locales later. Click Start from Scratch to begin creating the template, then click Get Started Now. This opens the editor canvas with some pre-filled marketing template content. Toggle between the editor and preview views to see how it will appear in WhatsApp. Let's make some changes to personalise this template. We'll add a variable for the customer's name here and include some link buttons. First, go to Settings, then Variables, and click Add New Variable. We'll add a variable called Name. This will be for the customer name. Add There as the default value in case the customer name is missing. Save this variable. Back in the Editor view, go into the text body. Now we can replace Hey There with our variable. Click here and select our variable name. Instead of the static hey there, we can now pass in the customer name when sending this template, like hey John Smith or whatever the customer's name might be. We can also update the message content. Let's write about shipping. We're offering free shipping and then add visit our website today and get 10% off. You can see exactly what this looks like in both the editor view and preview. Now let's add some action buttons. Click to add new block and add a new action button, then select link button, which will allow customers to easily visit the website. Type visit website for the text field and enter your URL. If you're using link tracking within Bird, you can enable link shortening. When this template is submitted to Meta, it will use the shortened link for tracking. Let's also add a quick reply button to help customers get more information easily. Select quick reply and enter get info. When customers click this, it will send an incoming text message directly on WhatsApp. Remember, you can have up to 10 action buttons in various combinations, and the UI will help you determine which buttons can be combined. Now let's update the image header. Click to select an image. I'm going to look in my media library and select the Bird logo, as I think this looks nice for directing people to Bird. Finally, you can take a look at the preview to see exactly how your template will appear in WhatsApp. When you're happy with everything, you'll need to publish the template for Meta's approval. This is required before you can use it. Click Publish and save this as V1. At this point, your template will go into pending mode. You'll see this little pending icon here. While approval typically takes just a few minutes, it can also take up to 24 hours depending on the template's complexity. You can check the details of your project and go to the Versions tab to see the version history. Right now we only have one version and its status is pending. Wait a moment and you'll see it's already changed to active. Now you can see that for the Bird Academy WhatsApp business account, this template is approved and ready to be used. You can use it in campaigns, journeys, flows and inbox communications. Now that we have our templates approved, let's organise our contacts into lists for effective campaign management. To effectively engage with your audience through campaigns, marketing journeys or sign-up forms, you'll need to create static lists of contacts. These lists help you identify and reach out to specific groups of people. Let's create a new list. First, go to the Marketing section of the dashboard, expand the Audience section and click on Lists and Segments. At the top right, click the Create New button to start creating a static list of profiles. Give your list a name. Let's say we're tracking VIP customers, so we are going to name this list VIP Customers. Next, you'll need to set the consent type for people being added to this list. You have two options, Single Consent or Double Consent. 
When you select double consent for email or SMS channels, customers will receive a confirmation message asking them to verify they want to be added to the list. Other channels will operate in single consent mode. For this example, we'll keep it as single consent. Add a description of your list, something to describe your list to make it clear. Then decide if you want to use this as a proof list. Proof lists are useful for testing your message templates in campaigns. You can select specific contacts to receive test messages before sending to your full audience. You have two ways to add contacts. First option is to create the list without any contacts and add them later. Simply click Add List without selecting any contacts. Or if you already know who your VIP contacts are, you can add them right during creation. Use the quick search function to find and select relevant contacts immediately. To keep your lists organised, you can add tags. Select from existing tags in the drop-down menu, and you can then also create a new tag by typing here. In this case, we only tag this list as VIP. Next, we'll add a couple of contacts for testing purposes. Once you're satisfied with your setup, click Add List. This creates your single consent list, tagged as VIP, with your selected members. You can always view and manage your lists in the Lists and Segments section, where you'll see all details including member count and tags. And there you have it. Your WhatsApp messaging system is now fully configured. You're ready to start engaging with your customers through campaigns, journeys, flows and inbox communications.